So you're just making everything awkward, aren't you? Oh no! All right, good, let's get started. Go away. I should have done that. <laughs> Cooking makes me happy. <laughs> Welcome back to our good, clean, fun cooking show. Work has not been as busy for the media production side of things, so we decided to give it another try with the cooking show. And I know it's hot as heck outside, but I was craving uh, butternut squash lasagna that I've made before. I had two butternut squash from Misfits Market, and one of the main bases of, or the base of this recipe is, instead of using like red sauce and ricotta cheese, it is roasted butternut squash and roasted garlic. and. I have these lovely large um, bulbs of garlic from Blended Earth Farm. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start with roasting the garlic and roasting the butternut squash. The recipe I got this from uses already cubed butternut squash and still puts it in the oven. Um, I like to use fresh. We'll do the garlic first, just sort of cutting the ends off. See, isn't that beautiful? So just sort of cut off the top of the, the bulb and I'm going to put some olive oil, salt and pepper, just a little bit. Crinkle it up and just stick it in the oven. Okay, next I'm going to just half these. I need to sharpen my knives. Oh, look how pretty that is. There we go. Just gonna spoon out the seeds. Lady, you can pick up the extras. Keep track of how long it cooks for. Just needs to be soft enough to puree it. I'm out of practice. You can make this look good, right? because I could have cheated and used ladies butternut squash. That's not fun. Just gonna put some olive oil, doo, doo, doo. salt and pepper. And because it's raw, uh, raw, fresh, whatever you wanna call it, um, it might take a little longer to roast than the cubed stuff would have. So I'm gonna put that in the oven now along with the uh, garlic. It actually calls for it to go in about 10 minutes after the garlic, but I'm gonna do that. 45 minutes and you let it sit. All right, now we're gonna check and see if, the, if everything is, is good and ready to come out and then it's gonna have to sit for a little bit to cool off. Garlic. Oh yeah. So while we let that cool, we'll go ahead and start with the cooking the sausage. That's going to be um, one of the layers of the lasagna. I'm ready. I think you can talk to that. This recipe calls for ground turkey, but I think ground turkey can be boring. So I got sausage, and it's actually a local sausage. Great expectations. Pork, pepper, and onion sausage. I got it from OC Organics. So, but I know it has peppers and onions in it, but I'm going to add. Of course, some garlic, because you can never have too much garlic. Oh my God, it smells so good. So I have some olive oil in the cast iron skillet. And like I said, it called for, it calls for garlic and like Italian seasoning, which I don't use Italian seasoning. I think I like just veggies. And this is one of the red torpedo onions from Chesterfield Heirlooms. We've still been getting stuff from them on a weekly basis. It's been awesome. And to see how the seasons have changed. I'm not gonna cut it into two smaller pieces. I feel like it adds a lot of flavor. I mean, especially, it's amazing how local veggies just have so much, are so much more flavorful and yum, hard on the eyes. So I'm just gonna put them in big like this. So I don't have the pan on. So 
A little bit of salt and pepper. A lot of salt and pepper. And I'm actually going to put some crushed red in because we like spice. And if I had this pan heated up, it would have been sizzling already. So we'll just let that sit for a minute. I should have had the pan on. See, I like my onions a little bit bigger. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. right? I mean, the nice thing is they're small onions. It's not like they're big, huge ones. So that looks good. Let's get the sausage in there. Oh yeah, this looks good. All right, so we just wanna get this all cooked through and then we can set it aside while we make the sauce. There. Turn it down a little. <laughs> I guess it's been a couple months since we've done one of these, huh? Yeah. What's happened in the last couple months? Thought our business was going to do well and come back and not really sure. Cooking makes me happy. <laughs> Are you going to cry? Remember you crying all Yeah, the I haven't cried in all of them. All right. So that is good. We're gonna make the sauce. Um, we gotta process the um, roasted butternut squash and the roasted garlic. And I always burn myself on roasted garlic. Whoever, if anyone watches this and has a good way of doing this without burning themselves, please let me know. I mean, just look at that paper coming right off. Good? Squished. Oh yeah, that's how pretty that is. Again, I'm sure there's some professional way to do this, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Sort of like what I've been doing in the garden. Like, I like getting my hands dirty. It makes me feel alive. I almost feel like it blends better when there is, oh, actually, no, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna, once we blend this, we're gonna put it into a pot and uh, start cooking it with the cheeses. This is definitely a very dairy, <laughs> dairy full dish, um, but I'm sure there are all sorts of ways you could make it um, dairy free. I'm gonna take the rest of this garlic, plop that in. So we're gonna be adding um, some mascarpone cheese, Parmesan, half and half, and some chicken broth. I feel like I'm missing something. Some chicken broth, boop. It's so pretty. Oh, it's just such a great color. Also, I have a lot of mascarpone, so I think I'm gonna make dessert with the rest of it. So the hard part is it calls for two ounces of mascarpone, but I don't really know what two ounces is. I'm just gonna scoop it in. Oh. I mean, look how thick that is. So you're just making everything awkward, aren't you? All right, ready? All right, so a couple technical difficulties. Um, technical with the filming and technical with using actual cooked lasagna noodles. I'm used to using no cook ones where you just bake them, but I'm not, I haven't gone to a grocery store, so I'm just going to OC Organics and they have just regular lasagna noodles. So I was just playing with that and it takes a little bit longer. So anyway, we're gonna put this together like a normal lasagna. This also calls for grated mozzarella, but I like, or shredded mozzarella, but I like fresh. Might end up being a little wet, oh well. So just like with lasagna, any lasagna, you put the sauce down on the bottom, just to wet it a little bit. So now I'm trying to decide, do I wanna do, I'll do it this way. There we go. I feel like I'm missing something. So I'm gonna put down the meat, some of the, you know, the noodles, sauce, noodles, meat mixture. And you can put as much, you know, however, however you want it to be. You know, I think it's all personal preference in my eyes. We have spinach, 
which we'll put down on top of the meat. And then some fresh mozzarella. I'm just gonna sort of break it up. There is a lot of cheese. I mean, so there's not ricotta cheese in this because of the, um, the it's the butternut squash with the garlic and mascarpone and half and half. So it's definitely very creamy. Let's put some sauce. Mmm, how that looks so good. I mean, I feel like anytime you layer a dish and it all bakes together, it's not all that big a deal. Actually, it is sort of nice to have the cooked noodles because it covers really well. Oops. And I do like to put lots of spinach just because it's, it's good for you. And it shrivels up when it cooks anyway. So the more you can get, lady got some. So I'm gonna keep going. Still, this, this is the thing that happens with this though, is it, it makes a lot more than um, even halving it. Yeah. Like this is not much smaller than the pan that it called for, for the full size. It just must overflow. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until all the meat and sauce is gone. <laughs> Squish. Squish it down. You know, just like I've said in the past when I've done these, it's the fun part is just doing what you want. <laughs> Still look pretty big. Get down into the, oh no, that one's going over top. Oh no. So I think I might cook this on a, a cookie sheet. So when it overflows, it doesn't get all over the oven. Put that on there and we can stick it in the oven. When we roasted, it was 400 degrees. We turned it down to 350 for 20 to 30 minutes and just sort of let it bubble. Sizzle. Um, so it's in the oven for 25 minutes uh, at 350. And we'll check on it and hopefully it looks good. And now we get to clean up. Hopefully we'll do some more of these now that things are, life is weird. Um, this is butternut squash lasagna and there are plenty of ways that you can make it. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. All right. Are you talking to me or are you talking to? I don't know.